Thanks, Sarah. I'm going to show you how structural engineers can extend their building information models created in Autodesk Revit Structure 2010 to structural analysis and design. The main objective of the structural engineer when designing a building is to make sure that the building withstands any forces that are applied to it, whether it's forces from wind, earthquakes, or the weight of the building itself. Structural engineers need to design the structure so that no matter where that force is applied to the building, the force follows a consistent path through the various structural components. Let's take a look at an example here. Here we see a four-story concrete building that has been modeled inside of Autodesk Revit Structure 2010. Now, this model is used for coordination, for construction documentation, for fabrication, as well as analysis and design. Now, we see two types of structural loads here. This first load, the yellow one, represents what's called a live load. Now, the building code that we're designing, that we're using for design, actually requires us to design the building for 50 pounds per square foot. This additional load is somewhat different. This green load represents a temporary load that the contractor is asking us to look at. They're asking us whether or not they can store some heavy equipment and construction materials after the main structure is built. Now, as a structural engineer, I don't want to over-design my structure based on temporary loads. I want to look at the capacity of my main structure and then determine whether or not I need to make modifications for these temporary loads. So what I really need to consider are how these loads are going to be transferred through the slab, into the beams, down to the columns through every floor, ultimately to our foundations, and then to the ground. This is typically done by creating a separate model for analysis. However, using the new Revit Structure Load Takedown extension, we bring the ability to carry out load takedowns directly and dynamically from Revit Structure Model, thereby delivering faster load takedown simulation at an early project stage. This in turn will save the structural engineer time and make him or her more efficient. We now see our Revit structure model inside of the Revit extension 2010 load takedown. All of the structural components such as the columns, the beams, the foundations, all of the material that's required to do a load takedown analysis is included in this model. All of the supports as well as the two loads that we talked about. That live load in the, is the red load and the, the temporary load that the contractor is asking us to look at is the blue load we can immediately run our load takedown analysis and we'll start to see how these loads are going to be transferred through all the structural components and ultimately to the ground, which is our goal. The first thing that we see here is a very colorful mapping. Now, this mapping is actually showing us how the loads are going to be dispersed through the slab and into the components. So we're not only giving the structural engineer data that they can use, but we're showing them how we're actually coming up with that data. As we look at how these loads are transferred, we can see the linear loads, so how these loads are going into the beams, down into our columns, and ultimately we can look at our foundations, which is our goal again. So we see here that we need to design our structure for 50,000 pounds of live load in this one location, 76,000 pounds in this other column. But what about those other loads that we talked about, the construction loads? Let's go back to the top of our building and we can see what is going on with, with those particular loads. And we see exactly what elements are being affected by this load. As we travel down the building, we can determine what columns are going to be affected, and ultimately, we can look at our foundations, and we see that six columns and one wall are supporting that temporary load that the contractor is asking us to look at, and values of 5,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds here or there. So now we can take this data and determine how much extra capacity we need in our overall structure. Moreover, we can save all of this information in file formats so we can retrieve it and come back to it at any time. And because we're using a single Revit structure building information model, as we make changes to the project, we can rerun this analysis and get that data at our fingertips. By introducing structural analysis and design inside of Revit structure using innovative extensions such as the load takedown, Structural engineers have the tools to make important design decisions earlier in the design process, all based on a single building information model.